So, I was stumbling around the web when I came across this quick survey, which is supposed to tell me if I'm a capitalist or a socialist. Well, I already know the answer to that, but sure, let's see what you got. As with all of these surveys, there's a lot of problematic questions and things that I find entirely irrelevant, but hey, I'm game, so let's see what it says I am. On with the show. Most of my friends are pretty competitive. Well, yes, yes they are. And I don't mean in the sports kind of way, because I really have no friends at all who are into sports any more than I am. I also don't mean that they're petty or egotistical like I see a lot of people. This isn't a mindless dick-waving contest. We're not doing anything to show off. We're all just dedicated to doing our absolute best and getting as far as we possibly can. I don't know that we're so much competitive with each other or with other people as much as we are with ourselves. I love to have people recognize me when I walk into a room. I don't care. I just don't. That's ridiculously shallow. I don't care if I'm the life of the party. I'm who I am. I'm happy with who I am. I don't want to be anyone but who I am. So that's it. I really don't get people who feel they have to jump up and down and perform to be noticed. What difference does it make? So, no, totally irrelevant to me. I dislike people who have no desire to improve their status in life. Well, I quibble with the word status because I've never cared about status, but yeah, I do dislike people who aren't willing to put in the hard work and improve themselves. I've always said that if I can't go to work and learn something new or improve on something that I've done in the past, then it was a totally wasted day. Life is all about consistent improvement and making yourself a better person every day than you were the day before. If you don't want that for yourself, then I really don't want you in my life. It is important to have lots of good friends. Now, this used to be a lot more important to me than it is now, but I think that as we get older, we really stop caring as much about quantity and start focusing on quality. The good friends I have now are comparatively fewer, but qualitatively superior to a lot of people I had in my life when I was younger. I don't need a lot of people hanging around for the sake of them hanging around. I need good quality people, and honestly, I don't need a lot of them. I am devoted to art. No, no, I am not. And that's not to say I don't enjoy art, but it isn't something that I spend a lot of my time worrying about. I mean, I can see a beautiful painting and acknowledge it for what it is, but it's not something that I actively seek out. I've got no time for that. Most of my friends are pretty gregarious and outgoing. Well, that's true. But again, I think this is more of a function of time than of character. When most of us were younger, we were all kind of introverted. Today, I think most of us have just stopped caring and just say what we want to say and do what we want to do and don't much care what anyone thinks of us. Getting older is really kind of freeing when you think about it. You don't have to impress anyone anymore. Most of my friends are interested in business. Now, I really had to stop and think about this, but yeah, I guess they are. I mean, a lot of them are independent business owners or people in upper management who really have to pay attention, not just to the day-to-day -day operations, but to all the minutia and that makes them more interested in the business aspects of their jobs, not just showing up to punch a clock. But again, I think a lot of that's due to age. As people get older, at least hopefully, they go up the corporate ladder and they get to be successful business people. So, yes? I enjoy business and financial programs on TV. Nope. But that's not really fair because... I don't pay a lot of attention to TV anyway, except for a few shows that I watch every week. Plus, I cut the cable cord years ago, so I couldn't watch much TV if I wanted to, which, let's be honest, I don't. I go to a lot of parties with my friends. No, I'm too damn old, sorry. I haven't been to a party, singular, in decades. I don't care. And I used to host a lot of 
quote unquote parties back in the day. But today, I don't need to socialize like that. I hang out with the people I want to hang out with and there's no need for structure. You just get together to do something if you want to do something. And since none of my friends drink, parties are pretty damn pointless if you ask me. I think a lot about my financial future. Well, I used to, but by this point in time, everything is in place, so I really don't have to worry about it much anymore. I've made my investments, I've paid off my house, my pension is set, I've had a plan and I stuck to it, and all I have to do now is retire and enjoy it. So even though I don't think about it a lot now, I certainly did in the past, so I'm going to say yes. I like to be around artists and writers. Now, yes, a lot of my friends are artists and writers. Both of my daughters are artists and have sold work. So I'm going to have to go with the affirmative on this. Although I will say I'm not friends with any of them because they are artists or writers, but because they're decent human beings that I have a lot in common with. So make of that as you will, I guess. In my spare time, I like to go to art museums or listen to classical music. Nope, sorry, don't. Granted, I've got a pretty decent collection of classical music, although I really haven't listened to any of it in a very long time. But that just isn't my kind of thing. I'm not much into passive entertainment. I like to do things, not watch things most of the time. I have no idea what this has to do with being a capitalist or a socialist, though, so... I don't know. I am annoyed when people don't treat me with the respect I deserve. Now, my first reaction was to say yes, but then I thought about it a little more and realized I really don't care anymore. Again, I'm an old fart. I don't care what anyone thinks of me. You don't have to like me and I don't have to like you. It's really irrelevant to me whether anyone treats me with any kind of respect and putting that I deserve qualifier in front of it kind of comes off as kind of egotistical. Respect is earned. It's not just granted. So think of me what you want. I really couldn't care less. I want to be famous. Nope. Never did. Never cared. Still don't. In fact, by this time in my life, I just want to be left alone. Screw fame. So, what are my results? Well, I'm 55% capitalist, which seems really low to me. But when it comes right down to it, I don't think most of the questions in this survey really meant a whole lot. This comes off as all fluff and no substance. But let's see what they have to say about it. You tend to be highly success-oriented, always looking for ways to move up the ladder. That much is true. Friends see you as wanting to be in control and don't shy away from being in positions of power. Second part of that's true. You are interested in money matters and look to maximize your profits in any activity you take up. Largely true. You may find yourself reading business editorials or looking at market trends and thinking about where and how you could invest your money. Sort of. You enjoy the attention you get from friends and others. Nope, don't care. So, some of that is true. Others, not so much. But this really comes off as just boilerplate capitalist stuff that has nothing to do with whatever I entered in the survey. But again, I don't care about attention, but the rest is pretty accurate, which is why I'm kind of surprised at only getting 55% capitalist when I'm sure a lot higher than that. But I don't know. What do you think? Take the survey yourself and post your results in the comments. Do you think you're accurately represented? Do you think the questions are all that useful? Let's have a discussion. It's the whole reason I'm here after all. Everything changes.